Hi all guys, this is just a video preview of the Internet Controller CM615 from Lamptron. This is a very interesting unit because uh, it allows to control uh, 6 channels of uh, uh, 15 watts each uh, for fans or even pumps. And this is very interesting because uh, it has a touch interface and an internet controller system uh, which allows to control the uh, the settings and the parameters from internet this is a very complex unit and uh, we are one of the few portals that are allowed to uh, show you this uh, new unit from Lamtron um, we have a very good experience with this uh, um, with this um, with Lamptron, for example, you can see the fan controllers FC5 V2. Another one, we have got a CW611 here, and another three, so four in total. Uh, these fan controllers, in reality, are uh, just four of ten in total because uh, um, they are a limited edition. Um, you can find more information, more informations uh, on the on our portal because we've made uh, a review, and uh, we will allow you to win one of those uh, in um, some contests. So uh, please be aware that uh, there's a possibility uh, to win one of them. So uh, this is just a video preview. We're sorry about uh, the. Um, the pronunciation, but uh, uh, we're not English, so we're trying to do our best with uh, such things. It's very complex for us. Anyway, um, we are showing you a load test with three shite ultra case, three thousand RPM, uh, three thousand RPM fans. Uh, one of those, uh, it drains 7.2 watts uh, from the wall, so it's um, uh, uh, 21.6 uh, 21 watts for a single channel. Uh, that's why, because we've uh, uh, united these fans in a single uh, channel that it's uh, on the 6th of this uh, fan controller. Uh, this is very interesting because these units, uh, this unit, uh, as Lamptron said, uh, it's allowed up to uh, 50 watts per channel, so a maximum amount of 1.25 amperes per channel. But uh, as you will see, uh, this uh, system, it can go in an overload state. Uh, um, so it's it's a very interesting unit. About the dimensions, we find that uh, uh, it has a length of uh, uh, 148.5 millimeters and a height of uh, 42.5 uh, millimeters and a depth of 63 uh, millimeters. It occupies a single uh, 5.25 inches. Um, um, slot and uh, it has a display of 129 millimeters per 32.5 millimeters and uh, the DC input is uh, plus 12 volt with the connector D that uh, you will find in the written review ah, and just another thing this is just a video preview we're not making a full video review of this uh, unit um, we highly suggest you to go in our forums and follow the, the link uh, uh, written uh, um, in, uh, in this video and uh, you will find uh, um, the, the written review which is very interesting, we've made some tests, uh, you will find a lot of information, photos and the software details which is fundamental for this fan controller. Um, about the range of temperature, it's not specified, but uh, we think that it could be uh, from 0 to 100 uh, Celsius. 
and uh, about the RPM too because it can go up to uh, almost 10,000 RPM um, so let's uh, start the unit so you will see how it behaves this is a uh, isolated PSU and we are going to start the fan controller as you can see Lamptron but what happens Hmm. So it's clear. Lamtron have uh, inserted a starting voltage up to 12 volts. So um, you can see that uh, we have got 21, 21.6 watts uh, fans in a single channel, and it's perfectly working. The channel it's the sixth, and as you can see, it's 4.9 in uh, automatic mode. And um, so um, this uh, this is very interesting um, about the the utilization of this uh, fan controller. You need to push the channel, and uh, uh, sorry, okay. You need to push right on the fan, and uh, it will show uh, an automatic mode or a manual mode. Um, so you can see the percentage which is uh, 32% the voltage and uh, you can also select the uh, RPM by clicking on it okay so we got uh, 780 RPM for 32% you just need to slide back and forth Oh, sorry, then go back, please. Yeah, okay, up to 100%, which is 2640 RPM. Twelve volts. Um, yeah, these fans are specified for three thousand RPM, but there is also there there is always a percentage which could be inferior or superior. Um, so, okay, now we know how to select the fans. Uh, as you can see, you just need to click on the fan. Three, four, okay. Uh, you can select the uh, mode and you can uh, um, select the uh, the RPM and the voltage you can select the um, the um, alarm uh, because um, you can control the single channels by uh, the temperatures in Fahrenheit or Celsius which are switchable um, and uh, but also uh, regarding the voltage, but you can do all these things with the uh, software included in the fan controller. You can also block the uh, the fan controller, so right now it's blocked, and uh, as you can see, I can't do anything. I just need to push here and slide back, so now it's switched. I can also turn off the volume. and uh, you won't find that annoying sound but we will re-enable it and uh, you can also uh, switch off the uh, LED right now it's 4 3 2 1 0 you can turn off the fan controller just need to click there and you go on. So, uh, another interesting thing is that uh, you can uh, start the computer by pressing this button. But obviously, uh, you need to um, configure uh, the, the, the fan controller for it. Uh, another interesting thing is that you have got six uh, thermal sensors per channel. 
Okay, about the configuration of the fan controller. At first, let me slide back the fans because otherwise you won't be able to listen me. Okay. So as you can see, uh, 21.6 uh, uh, watts, which is amazing because it's specified up to 15. And uh, yes, about the, the configuration on the PC, you just need to insert this uh, USB connector in the fan controller and uh, this uh, USB connector, uh, the other one, in the motherboard, in the USB uh, um, place in the USB connector in the motherboard. Uh, but you also need to insert this little um, uh, cable in the uh, predisposition of the fan controller and uh, these uh, uh, pins in the um, uh, power switch of uh, your PC. So you just need to slide in and then uh, you will be able to um, start the PC with the fan controller that it will automatically uh, uh, turn the fan on uh, to eliminate the uh, residual heat uh, which could have been inside the, the case. So, um, that's all for now, but uh, we highly suggest you to go to the forums to check to check the review I hope that with Google Translator uh, you could uh, be able to read it because it's in Italian but um, uh, it's a very interesting unit so uh, that's just a preview uh, let us know what you think and uh, have a nice day